Operating Department Practitioners, Wikipedia Article Audio Operating Department Practitioners are a type of healthcare provider involved with the overall planning and delivery of perioperative care. They are mainly employed in surgical operating departments but can also be found in other clinical areas, including emergency departments, intensive care units, and ambulance services. Operating Department Practitioner is a protected title in the United Kingdom, and the profession has been regulated since 2004 by the UK's Health and Care Professions Council. As of February 2017 there are 13,018 registered ODPs in the UK. ODPs work as members of multidisciplinary teams that include doctors, nurses, and support workers. History Duties Anesthetic Stage Surgical Stage Recovery Stage Training Professional Organizations The Association of Operating Department Practitioners operated a voluntary register and campaign through the 90s for formal regulation. By 1999 there were around 8,000 ODPs across the UK. In 2004 the regulation of ODPs was taken over by the UK's Health and Care Professions Council, which changed its name in 2012 to Health and Care Professions Council. In July 2004, the HPC published Standards of Proficiency for ODP, later revised in November 2008. ODPs are now classified as allied health professionals in England as of April 2017. ODPs provide care for patients during the anesthesia, surgical, and recovery phases. ODPs prepare the drugs and equipment needed for the patient to undergo anesthesia. This involves preparing and checking ventilation equipment, anesthetic machines, intravenous drugs and fluids, and devices to facilitate breathing. ODPs must also be able to assist anesthetists in emergency situations. ODPs conduct pre-surgery checklists to ensure that the right patient is receiving the right treatment and has given informed consent. These last barrier checks can sometimes discover important information that no one else has picked up on, such as allergies and fasting status. ODPs stay with the patient throughout their surgical intervention and help to maintain the triad of anesthesia. ODPs work closely with anesthetists to maintain the patient's airway. In some hospitals, they are members of cardiac arrest teams. In some NHS trusts, ODPs are used during emergency inter-hospital transfers, mainly to neurosurgical hospitals, decompression chambers, and intensive care units. They prepare and facilitate transfers, arranging drugs, equipment, and emergency airway apparatus. Transfer teams usually consist of an anesthetist, an ODP, and two paramedics. ODPs prepare sterile instruments and equipment and work with the surgeon, passing the instruments within the sterile area. Specially trained ODPs can also be the first assistant to the surgeon. Swabs and instruments are all accounted for by the ODP to check that nothing has been left inside the patient. ODPs may sometimes work in a circulating role during the surgical stage of a patient's care. In this role, they give extra materials to the sterilized person, help position the patient on the operating table, and plan ahead to supply what the surgical team may need. They may also set up extra equipment and act as a link between the surgical team and the rest of the hospital. When the operation has finished, the patient is taken to the recovery unit, where the ODP will check on him or her, 
providing airway management if needed and monitoring the patient's physiological signs. The ODP will then give treatments such as the administration of prescribed drugs or other procedures, allowing the patient to fully recover from the effects of anesthesia. The ODP will also check if the patient needs help from a physician or can be safely discharged to the ward. In the UK, to work as an ODP, a person requires to hold a diploma of higher education or degree in operating department practice. A DIP HE usually takes two years to complete. By 2010 there were 27 universities and colleges in the UK offering a qualification in operating department practice. The HCPC recognizes two professional bodies for ODPs. Analgesia, Muscle Relaxation, Hypnosis The College of Operating Department Practitioners previously known as the Association of Operating Department Practitioners, the Association for Perioperative Practice, formerly the National Association of Theatre Nurses.